we're a few hours into our sewer digs and you can tell we've got a big mess well we got the main located down here i also found a phone line but it's abandoned this is the same spot where i think there's two or three abandoned ones over here but the new ones actually run from that furthest pole kind of hit the middle one and then start curving out to this pedestal up here and then one takes off that way but the big 300 pair of curves and goes over here because these two ah that's phone that's cable tv we're not 100 percent sure that may still be working but that cable was just right underneath the ground so we've kind of just dug it up all the way to save it that pedestal no longer works And Charlie's finishing digging, cleaning up around that. But yeah, this is all new sewer main. I think it's maybe eight inch or six. We got that run done. That one down there. I got one more riser to find. But the plumber's gone down to the city to try to locate where they think it may be at. So we're going to have to cross that 300 pair phone. Because for some reason he thought it was like 30 some odd feet off the road so it may be somewhere right around here but i just kind of wanted to take a quick little video from my friday video now i've just got piles and base rock and junk everywhere so <laughs> it's amazing how quick it can look like a disaster again Here's this riser, or sewer, I guess there wasn't really a riser there. We just found the end, which was old clay pipe that just stubbed out about a foot. But you can kind of see some of it laying down in there. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, now I gotta backfill all this with the rock and then get this filled in. Something new they changed up on us and told us this morning was now they want a clean out down here kind of at the property line which I think the property line is a little closer to these poles but and then you run your tracer wire from down there just to that instead of all the way to the house so uh, yeah I guess now all of the sewer lines from the house to the main will have two clean outs one right by the house and then this one on the property line which I guess isn't a huge deal other than the fact that it's gonna make it a little more of a pain when you start putting in the yard to uh, remember that that guy's there. But it is what it is, so we'll get this filled in and uh, cleaned up for tonight. Okay, two down, one to go. Got this at least covered up tonight and kind of backfilled just so nobody would fall into it, but I still got that to do there tomorrow. And I'm gonna bring the loader back with me tomorrow and try to make something of all this chaos or whatever it looked like before uh i guess no one had ever really done anything or when they came through here in 2012 and put the new sewer main in they just kind of threw some junk in here i'm going to try to blend this whole hill back i got to leave the 
Now that's the sewer main lid right there. I gotta leave that, but I'm gonna try to fill this back in and slope it down and then clean all the grass and everything off that and kind of make it somewhat mobile. So pretty rough for tonight, but uh, this will definitely work. And then a couple hours with the loader, I'll have it salt backfilled and dressed up. And uh, then later in the week, uh, the electric company can be here to bury the electric out to these poles. So I've also got to redig. I think I figured out that this is cable TV and it comes from that pedestal and kind of zigzags around and then it runs up to that uh, lighter tan house. But this one's not located and it was all of about two inches under the ground. So I'll try to clean this up as best I can without tearing it in half and then uh, I'll just dig a ditch with the excavator when I'm all done. So it'll actually be buried as deep as it needs to. But yeah, this will be the end of uh, day one. I don't know if I over here. We ran into an old uh, concrete floor. I guess there was a garage and stuff here at one time, so which I've kind of covered it up, but that's why this sewer kind of zigzags. You can kind of see just the edge of the concrete there, but it's like a 25 or 30 foot uh, concrete pad or whatever. We went dug down like eight inches and hit solid concrete all the way down, so we'll just jump over and run it straight. There was supposed to be a riser to that. Uh, for this house or whatever but there's not apparently so we're just gonna dig up tap the main and everything again so that'll be a little bit quicker but yeah i'm done making messes for today and uh we'll be back at it again tomorrow well here goes the cleanup portion of this video we got our last sewer and everything put in this morning and hooked up got it inspected ready to backfill and try to I don't know, get a little order back in this yard I guess <laughs>
going to rebury the cable I guess it's cable one or whatever internet uh, cable TV line or whatever it's just a little coax cable that they actually put in a piece of conduit but it runs up to that corner of that house but <laughs> these are actually supposed to be in the easement and it should have been down through here but that's a junk uh yeah that's cable tv and they just abandoned it after the tornado same thing with that uh right foam pedestal right there they said that they, uh, you can see some new marks I'm trying to remember everything it comes from that other pedestal and down there out in that so they just kind of abandoned this after the tornado when they uh put the new sewer main in and they don't ever come back and do anything with it. It's just kind of been left there. 
I tried to stand that thing back up. I thought it was good when I put the yard in there before, but apparently someone's messed with it since then. But yeah, and then the cable company hires a subcontractor to come in here with one of those little bitty plows, and they're supposed to plow this thing in. But as you can see, here's the property. I'm standing on the property line right here for that house, so if they could actually, whoever gets this house, could actually make them come back and dig this thing up and move it over because the problem is the cable tv doesn't locate here so this wasn't even located i just like i said i tripped over it the other day because it was only an inch or so in the ground but you can kind of look from like right here there's just a little line and that's just kind of where they buried it in there Ed. but backfilled and kind of cleaned up so like I said I just wanted to my objective today was just get all the ditches and everything filled in and kind of walked in and stuff like that it still needs to be really cut and graded and to smooth it out but they still got to come and dig the power in so they're going to dig three more ditches back across here again but uh yeah this pile is going to be my crap pile it's just grass and chunks of concrete i'm gonna try to sift through this and use it for backfill sorry i'm sure that wind is annoying but yeah here's all uh i'll go up there where the sun's not blinding everybody but got this hill a little bit better got these blinds buried i don't really want to walk this in and take a chance of smashing that pipe but you can kind of start to see what the hills are going to look like. I may even bring it out a little bit further and just kind of slope it in there. But I want to use some actual good dirt instead of just all this rock and junk like that. I need to track this in a little bit more. But yeah, you can at least kind of see the slope and everything we're looking for. Like it looks a lot better than what it did. It looks like, in, like some yards and everything now. I started kind of filling this in right here and trying to get an idea of where I want my grade and everything to go on this so I try to leave a little bit of this junk for those guys to backfill the electric but still got a lot of trash and stuff to pick up but yeah it's kind of kind of gives you a little better idea of how it's going to come out and everything so probably Oh, it's probably going to be, I'd say sometime next week. I've got some other stuff to go work on uh, the rest of this week. Let's see, i got a retention pond and a parking lot I'm going to try to dig. And then uh, i got another guy that wants new sewer main ran across the street, and about 200 feet of it ran down a couple lots. And that's what everybody wants to try to get done this week and it's uh tuesday so i got wednesday thursday friday and i'll probably work over the weekend but yeah i don't see all this getting happening and getting done and everything like that so it's uh i don't know it's just that time of year i guess where everybody's needing to get everything done but uh the retention ponds at the oh that friend of mine's building that i did the big uh pad and everything on a couple months ago he's just actually kind of ahead of schedule so now everything else is supposed to just kind of be ahead of schedule so i gotta try to jump through hoops together and get that done and everything for him and then this other this other guy was just the guy that called that needs to get some sewer over to some new houses he's trying to build and everything so that'll be interesting i'm gonna be working with a different plumber that i've never worked with before or anything like that but i gotta dig 
dig down in an alley, tie on to a manhole where the sewer main stops, saw cut and go all the way across the city street, set a new manhole and then run a couple hundred feet of main and then stub it off and put in risers and everything for uh, well, the sewers going to the three houses and stuff like that. So kind of be a little bit of, you know, be a fun job. I'm looking forward to it. But, a little different from the monotony of uh, just spreading dirt and everything. It's just trying to fit it all in there and stuff. So, but I guess for tonight I'm gonna load up and uh, call it a day. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna ask you guys just uh, I guess you can let me know in the comments or whatever like that. Uh, oh, I know, like on this job, I did kind of a big long time lapse and everything, and. Uh, I guess my question would just be does everyone like watching more of the time-lapse stuff or you know just kind of the, the real-time stuff or whatever I guess I'd leave it on the time-lapse sometimes because this was kind of a bigger area and maybe that way more people can kind of see how I go about grading it out and stuff like that so because to me I mean I enjoy doing it and I really like it and everything like that but probably to watch somebody else just push dirt around in real time would be really boring so just uh just kind of let me know i mean if you're liking the mix of time lapse and the real time stuff or, or what you guys are, are looking for i don't want to try not to make it too repetitive in all the videos and everything so i'm trying to change up different angles and stuff but i know i got some people on here that kind of want to see see how i go about doing stuff like that and you know i try to i, I don't know if the time lapse even kind of screws that up where you really can't tell because everything's so quick or what i mean i could slow it down i just didn't know that many people would want to watch like pushing out a full load of dirt or backfilling a whole ditch and stuff let me know in the comments if you guys are uh rather see more of the overall job in a time lapse or just kind of keep breaking it up so we'll leave it up to you so thanks a lot